boy Chaco. Now, this is the first time. Uh, like, okay, well, I've had the rats for a while now. Probably for about October or November, and it is um, the end of April now. And uh, I don't usually have the rats out. I'm usually really busy, so they don't get a chance to get out of the cage much. This is Benny. And we'll leave over there. And um, usually when I clean up the cage, I got three cats. This is the youngest. He's only seven months old. This is Chaco. Now, Chubbs, I've had another video of Chubbs actually climbing inside their cage up on the top shelf. And, um, I don't know, just tonight I figured I'd let the rats out run around, and they're actually doing really well. They're actually a lot better than I thought they would be. And, uh, I figured I'd let the youngest in, and Chaco, he's doing really well with the rats. A little bit of poop over in the corner where the tutors there now, because <laughs> they're not used to being out, but I say once they get used to it, they won't use the bathroom as much. Hey, Willie. I say they're pretty nervous, but I'll see if they want a treat. <coughs> Alright, chocolate yogurt drops. I'll grab a few. Grab two for now. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, Willie. Be good, Chaco. Hi, Benny. Want a treat? There you go. Good boy. Willie. <laughs> and good boy, Chaco. You want a treat? There you go. Good boy. You guys are some good together. Yes, you are. I want to try Chaco, but or I want to try Chubbs, my other kitty, which is his uncle, the one that was in the cage before. But uh, he seems to have too much of an interest. So when he goes in the cage, I've let him in the cage on numerous occasions. But I don't like him going in there because when I pull him out, cause I have to physically take him out, and then shavings goes everywhere and makes a mess. But the last time he was in the cage, it's just he's so obsessed with that uh, he was trying to play with. Uh, with Benny. He made Benny squeak, so never actually heard him, but obviously he, he's going to be a bit too rough. Alright. You'll be good. Goes for you, too. Goes for you, too. Well, uh, Willie just made a little bit of a squeak because Chaco tried to grab onto him. But uh, he didn't take off running, though, when he did it. So he seems pretty good. Chaco, be good. Don't be rough. Don't be rough. Be nice. Be nice. Good boy. Ah, da 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 da. Chaco. Chaco. <laughs> Chaco's not used to them running around either, so. He's been a good boy, though. Be good. I know you want to play with him. At least they realize it's enough food. Right, Willie? Come here. Where are you going? Poop on the bed. <laughs> making a mess for me to clean up? Are you making a mess for me to clean up? I'm not going to wash this blanket now, thanks to you guys. So maybe if I let you guys out more often, you guys get used to this, huh? I can obviously trust you, Chaco. Well, not if I'm not in the room, but... Oh, da -da 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 -da, be gentle. <laughs> Her bag. Her bag. Oh. Yeah, she was so good boy. What you doing, Willie? Where are you going? Oh, you scratches. Scratch, scratch. Oh, 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 scratches. <laughs> Penny. I see him playing with Philip. What you doing? What you doing? Benny's the more friendly one out of the two of them. Aren't ya? I know you're gonna hide now, are ya? You're gonna lie right of me. Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but uh, the pillow is jumping. <laughs> Be good. Wait, hide and seek. <laughs> 
And that's the worst game to play with a cat. <laughs> Willy. Like I said, I've had the rats now since about October, and it's April now. This is the first time I've actually had them really out of the cage, playing around the bed. I took them out when they when I first got them, but they were so nervous. They ran away from me, and they didn't want to have anything to do with me, and now they're actually used to me now. Because <clears throat> I usually play, play them in the cage and everything. I've t taken them out a few times to give them baths, so I think that's the main reason why they're nervous about being outside. It's not like I try to gradually introduce them to the bath. I filled it up, well, not not filled it up, but put it up so much and put like a little stepping stool in it and some certain flotation devices and everything. And well, they didn't seem so bad in it the last time they were in it. So they're starting to slowly get used to it. And now I finally took them out again and I don't know if they know what's going on. Right, Chaco? Good boy. I'm a good boy. Yes, you're my baby. <coughs> uh, Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. Willie. News. I should get a girlfriend for you guys. Yes, I should. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, they're both males from different litters and everything. I got them from two different pet stores. And uh, I've always had one rat at a time. <coughs> but they always say that if you're not going to give them a, pretty much 100% attention, rats can get very depressed and die because they're so social. So this time I decided to get two. And the uh, only problem is with they're both males, um, Willie, he kind of got a few scabs on his chin. Because <laughs> they're always trying to uh, <clears throat> mount each other. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm thinking about down the road maybe, like once I get a, I got one cage, a homemade cage for them now. And I'm going to get a better, I want to get a bigger, better cage. Probably a fair cage for two of them together. And uh, I'll make it a female down the road. <clears throat> and, uh... I'm not sure. Uh, I've had one female before, but she wasn't very friendly. But uh, I can't say that all fi all females would be like that. Let one of them be with the female one time, and once she has a litter, and I get rid of them, I'll let the other one be with them. And just let them have some social time, I suppose. Where are you going? Exploring. Benny. What are you doing? You're tearing up my blankets. You're acting like a cat now. I think you've been around a cat too long. You're tearing up my blanket. What you doing? Hi. <gasps> really? Hey, Benny. Hey, Benny. <laughs> oh, some good boy. You get on the kitty. Be good, Chaco. Chaco. <laughs> Be good. Just because I put him on you don't mean you can attack him. He's used to, um... His mother's other kittens. Be good. That's what I used to do with the kittens before when uh, his mother had another litter of kittens. I used to put the kittens on him and he used to play with them. So I think that's what he's trying to do with the rat there now is kind of train him. <laughs> trying to rough house with him. And I'm sure the rats can handle it, but uh, they don't quite know it's on the go. <laughs> hey, buddy. You gotta be good now. You can't be so rough. Hey. Be a good boy. <laughs> Chaco, be a good boy. Oh, yes, a good boy. Now, if I only just had Chaco and the two rats, I wouldn't be very worried. But like I said, I got three cats, and the chance of all three cats <laughs> being as good as Chaco is with them would be pretty coincidental. Where are you going, Willie? You going down to my pillows? Where are you going? No. Oh, Willie. Hi. Peekaboo. Alright, well, I think this video is long enough. I don't want to bore anybody. <laughs> Say bye-bye, Benny. Say bye-bye. What you doing? <laughs> hey, cutie. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to take a chance there now. Chubbs is at the door. Come on.
Come on in. Come on. You be good now. Up here. Up here. Come on. Look. Say hi. Be nice. Rats are used to you, because you're always always trying to get in the cage. So you be good. Oh. Yes. You're a year old. <laughs>